to my little channel here in the corner of the YouTubes. If you are a returning friend, hi, how you been? How's it going? Good to see you. If you're a new friend, same thing, ditto. But my name is Ariana and this is my channel that you've stumbled upon. And I go shopping, scouring, if you will, for vintage and antique treasures and for, for resale and for collecting, but I am a reseller. Today, we have driven two and a half hours away from home, and we have made it to the Brass Bear Antique Mall in Birmingham, Alabama. So, we're going to head in here and see what treasures we can find for resale. So, if you're not busy, if you're not doing anything right now, hang out. Just, just come shopping with me. And, uh, yeah, let's go see what we can find. never been here before and that is a rare occurrence for me. I feel like I've been to almost every antique mall within a eight hour radius. So the fact that I've not been here before is very, very exciting to me. So we are going to, I'm hoping we're going to have a really good day. I've put it out into the universe that we are going to find something very special in this store. And I'm just having my fingers crossed that there's something very special in here. <gasps> I found something special already and I just walked in the door. Hi. Hi. I'm so glad. Who are you? I'm Pam. Who are you? I'm Ariana. It's, it's nice to meet you, Pam. Pam. If you guys don't know, this is one of my dearest friends, Pamela Hello. Blanchard. She's also a reseller here on YouTube. I will have her channel linked in the description box below. I did come here to see her. I didn't tell you guys that. <laughs> but I will tell you, that we just started, and there is one problem with me and Pam shopping together. And that is that we gravitate towards the same things. Yeah. But we're pretty nice. We we're, like to we're share. Not so bad. Yeah. We like to share, but we just saw something that both of us like. Beautiful Victorian glove box. It's in such good condition too. It's leather and the silk lining inside is very clean and it's got all this beautiful gold um, detailing to it. God, and for gorgeous. I know, and for it being over a hundred and 110, 20 years old. It's in really good condition. I don't mind. I think it's in perfect condition yeah. for me. It is $45, so that's really not bad. But just for, for me and, and and for resale, I think I'm going to leave it. But it's so pretty. We already found some things. Pam found this beautiful uh, quadruple plated little pitcher. Ooh, pitcher. It's I mean, got it's just precious. such beautiful detail. And then I found a set of marigold carnival glass um napkin rings and they are only four dollars so i'm gonna get those and then we found this this is stunning we don't know what it is um it but it's only five dollars sorry and we're gonna try to find like an upside down cloche or something to put in there and make it a really pretty like fairy lamp or um a vase or something like that so we're still looking for another part to go with that but so far we found a lot of really nice things and this is only like the second booth so i'm happy this is my little honey hole i like place. it i love this little place. i love it so much i just found this little alabaster box i say little but it's actually substantial and it's got these beautiful purple rhinestones on it now it is missing a few in a few places and i don't think it's that old and then on the inside it says Joe Mars first edition, but the problem is there's no price on it. So I'm gonna take it up front and see how much it is. Oh wait, no, there it is. How did I miss that? Substone decor box, $52. Okay, so for 52 with the missing stones, I'm gonna leave it, but it's still just a really nice thing to look at. Just sitting here on the shelf, I stumbled across a little petite Dresden wreath. It's a half wreath. Um, I'm pretty confident that it is Dresden. It's $15. Oh, it says Dresden on there. So $15 for Dresden is a really good price. So I think I'm going to pick this up and it's in really, really good condition. So um, I don't find Dresden a lot out anywhere really. So I'm going to pick this up. And then actually, as I'm looking up, I see this piece right here. I'm trying to get a good, oh, it's a golf club. Not what I thought it was, but no, I'm not gonna get that, but 
yeah, I'm really happy with that little with the with the with the, with the, with the, <laughs> with the little Dresden. I love the cover of this 1915 second edition Mother Goose. That is so lovely. I came across this really sweet Victorian mustache mug, and these were used so that I mean the name and it explains it. So you want to get your mustache creamy. But he is only $12, and he's in really good condition, and I love the dog, so I'm going to pick him up, even though I don't have a mustache. It will be fine. I can pretend. I know these are simple, but I really like this little cruet mm -hmm. set for 15 the salt and the pepper. Mm -hmm. I like the patina on them a lot. I think they're really pretty. And then like the little cigarette cards, or no, they're gum, gum cards. Gum cards. I stand corrected. And that right there, I might, I like that a lot for $3.25. The meat cutters? Yeah, the meat cutters pin. So I think I'm going to get someone to grab that for me as well. So this case, I also noticed that I start off every new clip as so all right. I'm going to work on that. But in this case, I found a couple of really nice things. Like, for example, look at this crescent moon Victorian um stick pin that is beautiful it's not focusing very well but that's really pretty she just has really good quality jewelry in here and it seems like a lot of the things are very fair price like some are higher but then some are very reasonable but the thing that caught my eye first and foremost is down here it is an antique pearl push button presentation box and every time I find these, they're never for sale. And I love the shape of this one. It's only $12, so we're definitely going to get that. And then look at this sterling pin right there. That is beautiful. It's $75. This jewelry casket right here is only $25. It's not that old, but it's still really, really pretty. And then we've got a sweetheart locket a vintage Czechoslovakian pin, just so many really beautiful things. Um, this Victorian bar pin is $35. That's a really good price. Look at the miniature little clarinet. Um, I also love him, the little cherub. He would have obviously have been attached to something, but he's since broke free. Um, but at $12, I still think he's worth it. So I'm going to look in here because the sweet gentleman is waiting for me to pick what I want out of the case. So if I get anything else, I'll let you know. Absolutely love that pair of fire dogs. And also <laughs> I want that fish. Um, <laughs> it's $65. I might splurge and buy it for me. I can't decide, but those fire dogs are Damn, beautiful. found this and I'm going to get it. It's $12. This is little vintage metal shopping cart. Dream keeper? I mean, come on, for $12 that you're coming home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this gorgeous cabinet with the pink felted liners and it's on sale for $149. This is Lauren, his best friend's boat too. Oh, I don't need it, but I do love it. <laughs> but I'm gonna be good because I'm far from home, so. I'm gonna leave it, but that is stunning. The bag of treasures. Now you can see these little uh, choir singers here. They're actually vintage wooden birthday cake candle holders, but they're all broken. I hate that they're shoved in this bag. And I love, love, love him. And there's these really sweet little wooden shoes in there as well. The whole bag is only $3.99, but with everything being so broken, I don't think I'm going to grab it. But they're really sweet, especially this guy. Really, really well at the first place. Now we are at Skyland Antique Mall in Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa Alabama. So hopefully we can do as good at this one as we did at the last one. We walked in. It's my heaven. I collect flower frogs. I absolutely love them. I particularly like the ones that are this green color. Those are my favorite. I also like this one. I'm guessing it's going to be around $10. I haven't looked, but $8. That's not terrible for that one, but I have so many that I just have to be careful what I spend on them. This one back here is very unique. I think it's a little newer though. Oh no, it's not. It is older, but it's been spray painted. But that one's unique. 
Um, I don't see any that I don't already have, but what a nice welcome. These, they're 130 each, but they are so lovely. Victorian, sorry, I have to talk loud and quick. The music's blasting where I'm at, but those are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, how sweet this is. It's $14 and it's 30% off, but it says my memory of school days. And it's someone's little scrapbook. And there's just such sweet little treasures tucked away in here. And I love the way they wrote on some of these. Like, let me show you. Where's the... I just found. Okay, so, like, there's all these little clippings. But, like, this. Oh. I love this. <laughs> I think that is so spectacular. And then the little pictures more little pictures look at these illustrations she's so naughty what secret you got oh look now she's nibbling on her ear but i think this is really fun and look at all the little whatnots and keepsakes the prophecy of her that this is just so fun to me and it's something you can't duplicate you won't find another one so I think I'm gonna pick this up. It's 14 and then 30% off, but 1928, love it. Found a booth that is made for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, he has exquisite taste and he knows it. Like, look at all the cupies. $59 a piece, but they are so cool. And this little pair right here is only $7, but those are more newer reproduction style. I love this little salesman sample dresser, 125, but that's beautiful. Bowl of heads, that could be more me. Um, <laughs> lots of things that are me. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> Look inside there. We got all the half dolls. Look at her, the little bobblehead, and then that big baby. I don't want to pay 45. Oh, I don't like the $10 one. I want the $45 one. And then there's a little, another little. Now that I think is more made for a doll. And then she is beautiful. German. She looks to be in fantastic condition. $90. And then look at all the babies. Oh, that one is impressive. That is fancy. Oh, I love her. Look at her. I'm sorry, Pam. I just pushed Pam out of the way. Look at her plaque right there. Oh, I love her. She is 95, She's but I really like her. Wowzers, wowzers. Shishkin Bowsers. I want them all. And look at the little dresses. I even like what they're hanging from. Mm -hmm. Dress up. <gasps> that is adorable. We got more over here. There's those little dolls like I got. The man, the girl and the boy. And then some teddy bears. I love all of this, but just too expensive. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Look at her face. Oh, I'm going to have to look at her closer because I love her. So as much as I want her, I'm going to be good and leave her. But it was a hard choice, but I love her. And then look at this up here. This little chest, dolly chest, $35. There's even, that was kind of creepy. I looked up and she was just staring into my soul. My apologies, man. A couple of pieces that I would really like to buy. Um, 99 though, and this one's really unique. It's 75, but I've not seen one on a little pedestal like that, but I can't do those, those prices for resale, but they're beautiful to and see. This little treasure is a vintage eyeglass case in a white metal, gorgeous little filigree detail. It's $10, but it's 40% off. So for $6, I'm not leaving that. That's too pretty. I am in the last section of the antique mall here in Alabama, and I haven't found anything else that I haven't already shown you guys. So if you stuck it in till the end, thank you so much. I am tired i am hungry and i'm ready to join miss pamela on her channel by the time you've seen this i've already been on her channel but again if you hung out all day well all day for me maybe 30 minutes for you thank you so much for joining me once again at the withering cottage bye